Hey, how are y'all? Good. How's it going, Marcus? Oh, great. How are you? Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, it's great, man. It's good to get back into the dorms for the first time since uh, the early 90s. Uh, I think it's a good thing. It's you know, great for staff unity and for camaraderie ship with the players. So a little bit old school, but I'm kind of liking it. What have you seen from the offense through the first four practices here? Uh, it's still early in the stages. Uh, I mean, I think the guys, what I've seen is I just, I told them that I appreciate the work they did in the summer. Uh, they made a huge jump in the summer just, uh, just, just as a unit of knowing what to do, of how we do it, uh, leadership starting to step up at the top. Uh, I think they had a great summer. Our strength staff did an unbelievable job. The player run practices, I think the, the, the leaders on our offense did a really nice job. And you can tell it's a lot smoother transition, obviously, you know, from the spring to the fall camp. I'm not going to say. I, if you say names, you usually miss one. But you know, just the usual usual suspects. We challenged Jeff in the summer to you know really start to make this his team, and I think he did a really nice job, amongst a lot of others. How helpful has it been just with quarterback development? I mean, with split practices and having a guy maybe in that second group shell or whoever. Uh, oh, it's it's unbelievable for for every position. I mean, there's kids that have gotten oh you know nearly 100 reps the first four practices. So that in most places they're not getting 50 the whole time they're in camp. So. It may not be pretty ball all the time, but it's guys out there getting to compete, uh, you know, and they're getting better with every single rep, and in the long run, it's going to help us. Is that, is that it? Are you guys wrapped now on, on a split squad, or do you, you go back tomorrow? That uh, that's that's 100% coach rule question. At some point, though, you're obviously going to go to a full team practice. When, when you do that, how much do you think the reps that these young guys got or inexperienced guys got are going to benefit them and benefit you in knowing what they can do yeah, well, we did a full team practice this morning, and uh, you know, Coach Osborne's been unbelievable. You know, Coach Rule, not speaking for Coach Rule by any stretch of the imagination, but you know, that was one of the things that Coach did really well. They, they, everybody was moving on the field at, at the same time, and I think Coach has done a really nice job of just grinding away of how we can do that. You know, we don't have 190 players, obviously, but uh, he's been very creative in making sure that the whole there's the whole if you if you were like a fly on the wall you look out on the field everyone on the field is doing something and so even though we are together everybody's still getting a lot of reps got a lot of reps today it's early but what have you seen so far from some of your kind of summer arrival freshmen at the wide receiver position uh, a, a lot of speed a lot a lot of speed i mean it's, it's it's pretty impressive they don't know what to do yet obviously but when they're just out there running routes one-on-ones and stuff they're they have a lot of speed Uh, just physicality, maturity, a uh, guy that's played a lot of football. Uh, you know, he's been here since last Christmas or last, you know, last spring. And so he's, you know, it feels like I'm sure to him he's been here his whole time. So, I mean, that group is unbelievable. Like I've said before, just how close they are and the unit that they are. Uh, he's just made it just that much stronger. How has uh, Billy Tan stepped in? Has he stepped in one of those guys that stepped in a leadership role for you? Oh, for sure. I mean, he's just so super competitive. It's so important to him. He's so respected, and, and he doesn't really say anything. It's just how he works and how he competes. And I mean, his leg could be falling off, and you got to pull him off the field. I mean, he's the most, one of the most competitive kids I've ever been around. So he's he's doing a really nice job right now of leading those young kids and you know tutoring those guys in the in the meeting rooms as well. In your experience as an offensive coordinator, how um, how often have incoming freshmen, summer freshmen, been able to kind of pick things up enough to help in the month of September? Uh, uh, I mean, a handful maybe in the month of September, but I think, you know, you will see later on, like, you know, late in the latter parts of the season where a kid develops and gets into a position where he can contribute, uh, you know, in some phases of the game. Uh, obviously, it's not unheard of. I mean, there's freshmen all over the place that come in and play early, and if they, those guys can learn what to do and play and uh, match the physical elements that they need, then we'll put them in. We don't care how old they are as long as they produce. What are the qualities you're looking for in a lead running back? Is that competition shakes out? Uh, being you know dependent, knowing what to do, dependent in pass protection, dependent in catching the ball, dependent in route running, dependent in hitting your landmarks, just a guy that we can depend on. Uh, obviously, the physicality in which we play with, he needs to be able to you know be durable and get the ball downhill, run between the tackles. And I think it's going to take more than just one. It's going to take two or three, especially in this league, the way these guys play defense. You know, it's going to be a it'll be a long year for a running back as much as we're going to run it. The preference is to have Bo Jackson, right? But, you know, 
there's not a lot of Bo Jacksons that are, you know, are out there. So we've got, you know, a room full of really talented guys that do a lot of different things. Uh, you know, we don't, we don't want to be one of those teams that have five running backs to get two carries a game. We want some guys that have a role on our off or in the offense, but, you know, it's, it's going to take more than just one this year for us to be successful. I do, yeah. I mean, it's, it's I'm sick and tired of just talking, sick and tired of just hearing things. Like, we're just ready to go out there and work. And, uh, you know, one of the things we talk about, just, just earning the right to go play against Minnesota, of how we work and how we practice in the preseason. Uh, no target. I think there'll be, again, I'm not trying to have coach talk here, but there'll be certain games, certain defenses where they'll be utilized more, and there's some that, you know, maybe they're not as, don't have as big a role in that game, but it's, it'll fluctuate. And, you know, it just depends on, you know, we have tight ends, we have fullbacks, like they both can do the same things for the most part. It's just that fullback, you know, in between the tackles can give you a little bit more of a vertical push at times. So uh, we've got some young guys out there playing the position now, and it's, it's fun to have a fullback on the field. You said how much you're going to run the, how much you guys are hoping to run the ball this fall. Do you have a preference for how much you run versus pass? No, it's just uh, we have to be able to do it uh, at a high level when needed. Like we have to be able to run the ball in four minutes and run it well. We have to be able to run the ball in the red zone. You know, if, is that 60 times, 60, 40? Is it 70, 30? Is, I mean, it could be 30, 70, you know, run to pass. And we're running it that well, getting 100, 105, you know, six yards of carry. So. You know, different phases of the game are going to call for you to throw the ball and run the ball at a high level. We've got to be able to do both whenever that time is needed. Marks, does it, following up on the fullback question, with, with adding Leventritt as a transfer this summer, does it allow you more freedom with Bonner? Um, who you obviously used there in, in the spring. Can you kind of use him more as a flex, as, as a tight end? Yeah, and we said it when we first got here, like we're a positionless offense, as funny as that sounds. Like, you know, you might be called a tight end, but you might also line up at receiver. You might line up at fullback. You might line up at running back. You might line up at quarterback. Who knows, right? Everybody has a certain skill set, and we'll come up with all these, you know, weird plays and stuff of how to attack defenses. And if a guy's skill set calls uh, for him to be in line or offline or a receiver, then he'll do that. So, you know, those guys are good players, and, and we're going to get them out there on the field any way we can. Uh, just a smart, mature kid. I mean, you know, he's 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 played a lot of college football at a really good place, and he's been coached very well. Uh, he's got a high football IQ. He can do multiple things, and uh, he's been been good so far. What is uh, Josh Martin brought to the mix as a, a full-time assistant? Really pleased with Josh. I mean, he's you know he's coached tight ends at a high level, you know, at Arizona State, and then again at SMU. Uh, he's very confident. Like it's, it's amazing. I've not, we've not had to meet with the tight ends. Me and Garrett thought going in, like we'll kind of go back and forth in the pass game, and then Donnie could help in the run game. And, and he's been rolling like he hit the ground running on Friday, learned everything in install one, install two, and has one or two questions a day. But I mean, those guys know what to do, know how to line up. They're playing at a high level. They're playing with confidence, and I think he's doing a really nice job. He's uh, again continues to get better. He had one of his better practices on practice too, just running routes, stretching the field vertically, catching the football. I think he's very confident right now. I think he he plays with a lot more confidence right now, uh, and and that's showing out there on on, on the practice field. Oh, good guys. Awesome, thank. You.